a lot together through camp. And coaches did a good job of mixing the teams up a lot in the first few days, so everybody kind of got a feel for each other. And then when we started trying to figure out the rotations, or when they did, I won't say it like I had a say in it. Um, we um, started, you know, balancing it out more and more and playing with those guys. And I mean, we, we communicate. I mean, we, there's a lot of energy. We play hard. And I just try to encourage those guys to be as aggressive as they can when we're out there and just, you know, just let them know it's nothing different than what we've been doing. Just continue to play hard. It's encouraging, it's encouraging to, to kind of hit the ground running the way you guys did, though, and, the, you know, the end of the first quarter of the game, the second quarter, you went on a pretty good run. hundred percent, um, especially for, you know, guys get, um, getting different roles this year and understanding that their role is going to be needed. And as a unit, we need every single person on this roster to be ready. And for us to be able to go in there as a whole five and go out there and have success, those guys, you know, that, that's big for them. Um, early in the year and early in their careers to be able to gain confidence because that's the biggest thing with the league. Um, everybody's got a talent. Everybody's got a skill. That's why they get here. It's about opportunity and, and confidence. And them having the opportunity, now it's just about confident and, and being confident and playing hard. Confidence is less a question for you, but, but nevertheless, I'm sure it feels good to, to come out in the first regular season game and make an impression the way you did. Yeah, I mean, that was I, I, I want to be able to be that spark, you know? Come in, communicate, bring energy. Um, I, um, I was a little overhyped in the first half. It kind of tied me out a little bit in the second half, but that'll, that'll go away, a little emotion. But um, for the most part, just having fun, man. That's, that's the biggest thing, having fun and playing basketball. We play a game for a living. We get to go out and compete every night, and there's no reason why you shouldn't be having fun. The, the lawn skill set is so unique. Uh, Dwayne calls it sort of unorthodox. Uh, what is it about he do, about what he does that sort of stands out to you or surprises you? I mean, he's, he's got a little bit of everything. He's got he's got great size at the guard position. He passes it well. He gets downhill and he's able to finish. He's able to the euro steps and all the um, the awkward finishes with both hands, you know. Um, and he and he's great defensively also. Him and Freddie, they hound those guards and that's they they make us go. Like no matter what, how many threes I make, no matter Yacht Duncan, OG Duncan, those two guys, Freddie and OG, I mean Freddie and Delon out front, they make that second unit what we are. They bring the energy and the grit and the toughness that we feed off, and and they're, and they're amazing. You know, they they get us in the offense. They both get downhill. They both pass the ball extremely well. And Delon, you know, and you almost have to kind of encourage him to be more aggressive because I try to um, remind him that what they do is what makes everything else work. It's what makes OG gets backdoor cuts. It's what makes Yacht get on offensive rebounds and rolls down the lane and myself getting threes on the backside. It's because of what they do. What did you think of the Rooks' three-point shooting tonight? It was great. Way better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I told him that, too, on the floor. I said, that's a great first game. He shot the first one. I said, the good thing is, man, it doesn't get any worse. It can only go up. Like, you shoot an air ball, it's almost like one of the best things. It's like a blessing in disguise. Like, you're so relaxed after that because it's like, I can't shoot first in an air ball. And he laughed it off, and the next thing you know, he makes one, gets a couple of dunks, and he's OG again. You said that you've been giving him advice leading up to this game. Oh. What sort of thing have, things have you been saying to OG? Confidence. The same thing. Like, I, that's, that's the biggest thing I try to give those guys. Tell them, like, you know, not to be out, not me be out there like, hey, I'm whatever years in the league and pass me the ball type of thing. I'm like, no, like, we together. We all need to be, the better you are, the better we are. And you got to, your skill set is needed just as much as the next guys. And, and that's the biggest thing. I try to, you know, I just communicate with them on the floor defensively so we can do things right. And offensively, because we play in kind of interchangeable positions, so we just talk. But I just tell him to be himself. That's why he's here. That's what got him here.